All right, I just picked up some two by eight and one two by six for my decking. And I don't know if you are keeping up with prices right now, but that is over $450 worth of boards. So 10 two by eights by 16 and one two by six by 16, over $450. So the project at hand is to get this trailer decked. So I've got this little overhang here, and I've got about three quarters of an inch of overhang of this diamond plate until you get to the C-channel there. So I'm about right there on my tape. If I just lay that down. Here, my thought and a, what I'm a little bit worried about is the board is going to rest on this, and then the board is what's going to support this piece of diamond plate right here so I'll be screwing this down and so I pretty much have a fairly flat surface under here so I'm thinking maybe like 187 might be a good length and so you're at 15 inches 7 or 15 feet 7 so I may cut one a little bit long and again it's gonna have to it's gonna have to bend up and under here unless I can slide this back far enough so maybe I'll cut one 15 foot 8 and see how we do with that well that slid right in there so we're covered here We've got about three quarters of an inch underneath that diamond plate and then we're covered here as well and I may have to pound this down a little bit that little lip right there but I think that's going to support it pretty well and I can also screw into it now I may want to take this make this board a little bit shorter just so this will, will bend down a little bit more easily but I think I like it so let's cut 10 more of those all boards are not created equal and each end of the board is not equal either so if you look this board I just cut I cut the end that had a crack in it and when I was cutting it this, these two pieces fell apart so take a look at this next board this end has no knots and it looks really good. This end has some knots and a couple gouges. So I'm going to cut off of this end. So take a look at all your boards. So this end here on this board looks really good. The other end has a knot on there. So I'm going to need to turn this board around before I cut it. Okay, by planning ahead a little bit, that knotty, nasty end is now gone. Alright, I keep saying this, but this thing is starting to look like a trailer. So I've got some Torx head self-tapping bolts for, for attaching to the cross members. And I'm probably, I got a 2x6 for this spacer here, but I think a 2x4 would be better. So I'm waiting for bolts. In preparation for my bolts, getting here, I want to snap a line and mark my stringers.
Okay, my chalk lines are all laid out, ready for those bolts to arrive. And snapping a chalk line like that just makes it super easy to be able to keep your, your bolt straight, to make sure you're going to hit those cross members, and to have it look really nice when it's finished. Alright, the bolts came for tying down this deck. So let me show you what we got going on here. These are bright and best. These are these are decking bolts. They are self-tapping, but they call for a 730 seconds drill, pilot, pilot hole to be drilled in there. And these are a T30. And so I've got my my stringer supports laid out. And I thought about trying to make a jig so they're all the same distance apart, but at the end of the day, you don't really once you've used this trailer for a little while, you don't really notice. The bolts too much so I, I think there is such a thing as spending too much time laying stuff out so I'm just gonna go for it I'm out here today working on this trailer. I've got a few things left to accomplish. So one thing I need to do is get the VIN number stamped on here. I want to get the paint cleaned off of this jack if I can, get some decals on here, and maybe a couple other little things. One of the things I want to, I need to, to deal with is this diamond plate edge here is resting on the boards. So it's really solid that way, but I need to find a way to secure this. So I'll probably try to screw this into the deck, maybe even cut it right there and bend it down a little bit. But things are looking pretty good so far with this trailer. I'm pretty excited about it. I have been thinking about a winch on this thing for a while now and I have a winch on my other trailer I've used it a few times when I used to work on cars I used it a lot and so one of the things I want out of a winch is for it to be universal so I want it to be able to to move it around and so I'm gonna put it on a receiver caddy and so if that's the way I'm gonna do it then I need a receiver tube on this trailer to receive so I think I want to cut this right here and slide this through here so I can weld it to this, the diamond plate, and this. I did add a support under there, a piece of 3 inch channel, and so I think I should be in pretty good shape with that as well. So I think that's what I want to do with this, so now I need to find center on here. Alright, I got these two cut but my grinder wheel can't fit in here so to cut these two vertical pieces here and here I'm going to use my plasma cutter so that'll let me get that vertical piece and not mess up the rest of the frame
All right, I've got my receiver tube welded in, and I think that should be pretty strong now. It's worth mentioning that this is this is a classic case of poor planning. I hadn't quite made the plunge yet on if I was going to do a winch on this thing or not. So obviously this would have been a lot easier and cleaner if I had done it from the very beginning. So now we got to go back and try to clean this all up. All right, I think I'm ready to load this thing up for the first time. So let me show you what I've got going on. I've got the truck sitting here. I've got the brake applied and that's going to apply not only not only the truck's brakes but also the trailer brakes and so that'll make loading this thing it won't be jerking against the transmission Okay, that went on there pretty nicely. And we're back up off the ramps, the jacks, I guess you would call them. So one thing I'm a little bit concerned about is this yellow paint and how it's gonna hold up. I may be painting this black at some point, but I'm pretty excited about it. I think I like it. All right, that test run went fairly well, I'd say. No problems. The trailer pulled pretty well. A couple things over here. I had bought this, and I think I got the one that was too long, so this is too, it's way too close to the ground. So I think I may be cutting this off, maybe around this hole. So I think I had been wondering about that. So I think that's gonna happen. But other than that, I think the trailer is, is really good. I'm excited. I'll get my winch mount finished up and get that in place for you all. If I can get this thing cut down. Nice. All right, well, I guess that's cut down. I just got back from South Carolina and it was my maiden voyage of the trailer. And I went and picked up a 10,000 pound uh, skid steer. So the trailer and I don't know if you know anything about South Carolina roads, but they are horrific. So the trailer did really, really well. You can see that it's squatting down quite a bit. And it, I mean, it just did fantastically well. It pulled really well. It rode really, really well. Everything. So I'm excited. I think I gave the trailer a full blown first test. So that was about two and a half hours away. Just running and I wasn't running down the highway that fast either but um, it did great so I'm pretty excited about it I think the trailer is broken in now I think it's proven itself and I think we're good to go with it I'm about to pull this machine off the trailer but I wanted to show you real quick remember when I cut those spring seats and re-welded them for an extra three inches I'm pretty much tied against the fender right there 
and here I've got probably about four inches, maybe three and a half inches right there. So if you remember me cutting those spring seats for a couple extra inches on this trailer, if I hadn't have done that, I would not have been able to get this machine. So look at the size of this bucket. I mean, that bucket pretty much fills up the trailer deck. So that is a big machine right there. That was the trailer's first haul. So that is a big machine. I can't wait to get using that thing. I'm really excited about it. I'm also really excited about how well the trailer did. So that was a pretty cool project for sure.